All right, guys, Ram 2500 walk around time. This tray canopy package is pretty special. There's a, so many different diverse options we've packed into the one configuration. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end and check it out. This ramp, it is a really, really cool setup. So we have, as usual, on the passenger side, we have our pantry or our kitchen setup. So nine times out of 10, we have a fridge um, right up the front on the left-hand side. Um, so it's the Bushman 130 litre fridge. We do do a lot of modification to the fridge to get it to fit in the hole, um, but we are really happy the way it turns out and the way it functions, um, especially with relocating the handle to the side. Um, it does, yeah, really op open up the space and then, yeah, you gain a little bit of extra room at the top so we can go that 130 litre fridge. Um, GPO infills, again, really common for us now. Make the most of this otherwise wasted space. Um, you can, or option to not have it, um, which means you just got a little bit of extra storage down there or there's even a little shelf which we can put in um, just to hold light things um, like phones and whatnot. So, um, and a drive um, inverter switch to turn all the AC power is located there. GPOs and then the 12 volt down the bottom in the uh, C socket and also the USBs. Next to the pan, or next to the fridge, we have the pantry. So again, we have all our tool items here. So the idea behind this is everything you use every day or all the time whilst cooking, oils, herbs, spices, um, you can fit on the front. Um, and then there's extra space in here for um, utensils like your tongs, your egg flips, all that sort of stuff. Keep it on the front and then pull it all the way out. It does lock out. Um, so then you have your storage from both sides. Um, bungee cords to hold it all in. Wine bottle, soda stream, um, anything tall which won't fit anywhere else can go at the back. So there isn't much you can't fit in this uh, pantry in one spot or another. Behind the pantry, we do on this build have optioned a drawer with an under bench or under stainless bench. So they come out independently. Again, really common. So you can keep all your, all your food and everything in this drawer here, which doesn't fit in the pantry. Lock that one away and then lock this one out. And then that there's a sturdy work surface for any induction cooktops, gas cooktops, anything you want to do or just meal prep on this surface, really handy. With the GCI TradeTech canopies, um, we can configure these more or less however you like. So this is really common for us to go fridge pantry and then this spot here on a 1700 canopy is how long this one is, is open to sort of what you guys want to do. So this one here is a really good option. So the drawer and the bench, we could either go, uh, we could drop the drawer and just have a deeper, uh, drop the bench rather and have a deeper drawer, or we can do the kitchen. So if you guys follow Aussie Destinations Unknown, you would have seen their setup. So we go the drop kitchen, we then have pull out storage above the kitchen, and then we have a slide out microwave. This one here is for a pie oven, so a 12 volt pie oven. We do have another unit which is slightly bigger um, for the microwave. So that one there is fixed in. It doesn't slide out, but there is that option um, if you were going for the kitchen um, to have yeah, your, your slide out either pie oven or microwave and then also more storage below that. So this unit here, this section of the canopy, there are so many options that we can do, different configurations we can spec for you, um, really to make sure that your tray build is specially designed for you and you get absolutely everything out of it that you want to. All right, so moving to the back of this 2500 Ram, I uh, did touch on it before, the tray length is 1700 long and the tray is two meters. So that means we have a 300 mil lip on the back of the, uh, back of the tray. So what we do on this particular case to utilize it, we've gone for two jerry can holders. Um, so these ones here, they open up um, just like that, come down, all lockable, um, and they're also light keyed. So fit a, a 20 litre jerry can in there, um, and you can also use it for water because it does have the little spout out the bottom as well. So a very versatile unit. Then the ladder, obviously we've touched on this a few times before. It is our bifold ladder. Um, the spare wheel up to 33 does fit behind it. Um, 37s are just a little bit too tall. So 33s are the max we can go because we physically can't fit a 37. Um, but yeah, the middle section comes down and then also both uh, supporting frames do swing down if you need to access that tire. So it makes the, the best use of this space. Um, and then the final thing on the back of the canopy is the Enerdrive inlet. So that's the shore power 15 amp plug. 
it is placed there because obviously once you have a tyre or wheel here, that's your only spot. We want to keep it nice and low so our cables, our CMS cables from our uh, plug to the inner drive charger are all kept and they're, um, on the base and they run underneath the canopy floor. With the trays, so standard feature on all GCI Traytech trays are obviously the tie down rails. We've touched on them a few times before being they're obviously on the sides and that's also how we pivot down our drop sides. But on the back of the trays we do wrap it all the way around and we have these two tie down points here fully welded in, very very strong, you're not going to bend them, um, which are functional practical tie down points. So you can fit a standard hook just from Super Cheap Auto, a ratchet strap, goes around that fine and then that, that plastic cap there, that is the pivot point for the drop side. So um, just yeah, keeping that uh, modularity on the sides, we flow it through to the back. Powder coat colour, um, texture of black, it is the best powder to go for, it's so versatile, it's super scratch resistant, doesn't hold the dust, it doesn't get much better than texture of black, so um, it looks awesome as well with any real paint colour. I'm just trying to think on the top of my head is the one we've done which doesn't look good, and it could be biased me saying it, but no, they all look really, really good in black, so um, yeah, texture of black's the way to go for sure. Moving down below the tray, um, we do have the, in the winch infill panel. This customer is coming back for a rear winch, so that is an option on the Ram 2500, 2500s. Um, also really cool, we didn't do it, but I'm going to point it out. Raptor coat, the whole chassis is Raptor coated. Um, so we did, had that done before it got to us, so we had the tub taken off and then um, yeah, sent, the, sent the car to the Raptor coaters. They did all of that and then it came straight to us. So really, really cool way um, to finish off the sort of the texture of black tray tech flow um, with a Raptor coated uh, tow bar. So really nice way to finish it off. So continuing with the black theme throughout this whole car, what we've done is a blackout kit. So any of the chrome parts, which come in standard, we've pulled them apart, we've bead blasted them with set, um, and then powder coated them to be the same texture of black as the rest of the canopy package. So this guy here, fully uh, black, same if you notice on the back of the actual tray, everything which is usually silver or chrome plated has been powder coated black. So again, just a really neat way to finish the whole um, tray off. Toolboxes, we'll touch on them quickly. Same uh, pull out toolboxes that we offer on all our GCI Traytech models with all the American builds. Internal um, lighting is an option. Um, and then yeah, they go super deep. Um, we also now have a extra bit of protection on the front, which again, if you were keen and were watching really closely, you would have seen there's an Anderson plug and a few outlets on this panel on the other side. So um, yeah, just another really way, a good way to sort of keep everything flowing through and make sure everything is waterproof, dustproof. Um, yeah, as proof as you could be. Um, same on the back, we'll pull that out real quick. So they're the 30, uh, 63 litre slides. Tom did a full walk around video on the slides and how all the toolboxes and how much you can fit in them last week. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, Tom is yeah, the, the sales manager here at GCI Traytech. So good to get to know the team. There's a lot more people to this um, huge company than just me. So really, really cool feature. Uh, we're really proud of them. As I said, dust waterproof. They're um, a really epic design. Canopy, let's get into it. So this side here, is completely empty. So we've managed to fit all that gear on the passenger side whilst maintaining all this storage space here. So first things you notice, obviously the inner drive package, um, because we don't have a drawer here, so again, the Evercool drawer fridge, really common, or having a drawer or a drawer under stainless bench, the battery usually sits in that member, but because that's not here, what we've done, we've mounted a new battery compartment. We have done a few of these now, um, and you can actually see the battery just hiding there. So the battery is tucked away right up the front in the middle, so we keep that 30 kilo battery. It is a lithium, but it is heavy. So 20, oh, 200 amps of lithium BTEC, it does add up. Um, big, heavy unit, but power for absolute days. So really cool. And then to make the most of it, little hidey hole. So we just cut that out so you can store any loose items, something that's not gonna roll around, smash into everything. Um, up the front there. And then all this space. So we've got a false floor in here. Um, you might pick up, there's not many tie down points, but what you can do, because all of these bolts here, which hold the floor down, they go into the structural rails in the actual canopy. So 
you can take one of these out and then screw an M6 eyelet in. So anywhere you see a bolt holding a floor down, you can replace that bolt with an eyelet, meaning tie down points. So again, we don't do it as factory, but that's what a lot of our customers do. If you need to hold big items down, screw your eyelets in there. You also have eyelet points on here. So all these little nut certs along there, eyelets. And then again, if you want to do stuff from the roof, uh, because there's no sort of roof storage or anything in here, you can definitely hang as much stuff from the roof as you want to, just through um, using a little channel nut and then an eyelet um, that threads into it. So really, really good way to use the space if you have bigger items to use or bigger items to store. Powder coat color on the inside is a bright white. This is the best one in my opinion to go for. Um, it is obviously, we want to go much lighter on the inside to keep it nice and bright, make it feel uh, big and open. Um, but then it's also, if you do scratch the inside, let's be realistic, things are gonna roll around, things will get scratched as you use it. The bright white's a really good color, a really easy color to touch up. So we do recommend, yeah, powder coat colors, texture of black on the outside, bright white on the inside, you can't go wrong. It goes with every combination of cars, uh, or color of cars, and yeah, it looks so good. Like, be a judge of yourself. If you haven't seen one of these things in person, um, you should really try and make sure you get to a 4x4 show and see us because photos are cool but the product in person is even better. So the Ram 2500 is such a cool car but we can't go without taking note of the F350 that's been sitting next to it the whole time as well as well as the EC Ram uh, 1500 at the back there. So DT 1500, the DS 2500 and then the Ford F350. Such a cool build. Um, this one's gonna have a full build video done on it. Um, so we received the car yesterday. Um, if you check out the number plates around, it's actually come straight from Vancouver. So direct input, um, can't wait to get into this one. But the Ram, let's finish that one up. Such a cool build and it's really good to show how we can sort of utilize the space with all those options on the, on the kitchen side, on the passenger side of the vehicle, whilst maintaining a lot of open space, which gives you options for later on. If you wanna add things to the roof, you can do that, put a drawer and we can also do that there. So, um, what else was I meant to do? Shout out. Shout outs. If you are watching this video at this stage and you've gone the whole way through, thank you. Honestly, this is the reason we do these videos. We see you guys have watched them the whole way through and then also engage with us via the, uh, the comments down below. So look, say hi if that's all you wanna do, but if you wanna see something we haven't covered in any of these videos, make sure you do it. And um, look, we do read every single one of the comments. So again, thank you and uh, yeah, cheers.